This is the enforcer, C.W. Anderson, and you're listening to In Your Head Online.com, and I listen to it because I'm an Anderson. I haven't thought about this story for a while, but let, let, let's let's take a little history path. I mean, it, it's been the seven years now we've done the show, almost eight years. For uh, the new people don't know, this this is what happened was you decided to do the show with Jack. Which was a message board poster, which right. his true identity never had been revealed. Mm-hmm. And there was another message board poster named Hugh Mungus, who you knew in real life was Neil Jones. Hmm. Now you emailed Neil asking about the show you are doing with Jack. Uh-huh. And Neil was a nice guy and replied to you. You love a- this, don't you? You're like, you're like, I love that I fooled the old incher, that <laughs> dumb hillbilly. You I probably masturbate it- over this story. <laughs> I think it just makes me just seem insane. Which I, I do kind of like that. <laughs> well, I don't think you have to seem like it anymore. Uh, you probably, you probably are insane at this point. <laughs> But yeah, you 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 tricked me cuz you know, you're this crazy guy on the you're basically a troll. <laughs> I thought you say I was like a stalker. I was like a freaking an internet predator. Anytime I would post on the get in the ring message board, you were there making a uh, stupid West Virginian jokes <laughs> and uh, berating gay, me. A lot, lot of gay jokes too. Yeah. But yeah. they might have been more towards Barb. <laughs> I think everybody knows it's you know, you 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 were uh um, you and could I do that. Uh, yeah, and I do believe in karma because I was a mean troll on the internet, and now, and over the years, I have got it back in speeds. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we started up the show under the pretense that I was doing the show with this guy named Jack. Uh, Jack and off, <laughs> <laughs> and you said that you were well. This was before your true identity was revealed by the Phantom. And uh, you said that you were just friends with Neely, Neely Jones. And that, uh, you know, uh, you're just close friends. <laughs> and one day I was, uh, we were talking after the show, and you signed into MSN and it said, Hello, Neil. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ, this Jack guy is either like, just a complete mooch off of this guy knows his email address, or or he is actually Neil. Oh, uh, and uh, it pains you whenever I finally figured it out because I berated you to make uh, you admit it. You're like, tell me, and I'm like, no. <laughs> you, you didn't want to admit it. No, I I would be kind of cool to just keep it going forever. <laughs> no, it's kind of sadistic, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't want to admit it. You, you would not admit it. I, I like that you told me that you used to be a stand-up. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's reasonable. I think everybody out there would think, you know what? This guy's a freaking comic genius. Somebody's a stand-up comedian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyways... You finally broke down and admitted it. And then I said, I had the idea that Phantom should come on the show and uh, say that you're, you know. Oh, you're that was you. You set that up. I I didn't set it up, but I, I, I had the idea. I think you actually set it up. Mm. It was that. That is a great moment, though, on the show. I think when he called in. And... It was a great moment too when when he found out and he talked about it on the show. And he's like, it's like Jack and fucking off as a show. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. A little trip down memory lane. We're big fans of uh, getting the ring back in the day, so that's where mm-hmm. we met. That's where we decided to start up the show, because yeah. they, they weren't doing a whole lot back then, so mm-hmm. I guess we kind of decided to fill the void, you know? Mm-hmm. Now, just think about this. If you still thought I was two separate people, you would have two friends instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that you have no other friends besides. I mean there would be two extra friends instead of one. Yeah, but still, that's that's pretty sick, isn't it? <laughs> and just Neil, Neil would never talk to you on the phone. <laughs> I never speak to this Neil person, even though you're such close friends with him. <laughs> I'd have to say he's like a mute or something. <laughs> he can't talk. 
<laughs> yeah, an accident. Uh, that's him signing into his email address. He just can't say anything. <laughs> oh man, we'd we'd be wondering why does this guy ever go to the fan fest? <laughs> He's such a big wrestling fan. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough from that. We'll do some more. If people are into that, we'll uh, send us some messages on, on Facebook or something, and we'll talk some more about uh, old times if you if you like that. But Hi, this is Babe the Farmer's Daughter, and you're listening to In Your Head.